Hey, yo guys, welcome back. My name is HM and I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. And if you're new here, the swarm welcomes you. Guys, we have just opened up two street brawl packs and both of them have had weird issues. I'm really hoping that our third one doesn't have any issues. Otherwise, I'm going to be very disappointed. But nonetheless, we have the final one that I'm actually most curious to see. This bruiser actually has a very unique color scheme that many probably won't know the reference to. This bruiser actually has the original OG Subterra color scheme. It's brown, orange, and yellow, or gold. It's looking like gold on here, but it is the exact same. I'll go ahead and put a picture up here of an OG Bakugan because they are so cool. The very first Subterra. I love the chocolate slash like cola brown color especially with the orange and the gold. I'm just really hoping this one doesn't have any issues. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the back, see what it's got. Um, the stats are looking like it's more of a speed fighter. Interesting. Uh, it's got the same things that all these other ones have, a ripcord. I'm curious what color the ripcord is. And we've got that. Uh, it looks like it's a part of the Misfit. The Misfit? The Misfit Clan. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and bust into this, uh, see if it's got any issues, too, and see how cool it is. All right, moment of truth. Let's get into this bruiser. Pull this out of here. Again, package is super nice. I'm a big fan of how it gets put together and how easy it is. The ripcord's blue. That's, uh, that's interesting. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this color scheme, because I'm a huge fan of it. I mean, I just can't, I can't describe any more how you can't even tell it's translucent right now. It is translucent, which I think gives it a nice like root beer cola kind of color. Let's go ahead and get this blue ripcord out of here. Sweet. I have uh, plenty of those. I can't wait for it to be like my Beyblade bag from way back in the day with tons of launchers and all kinds of stuff. Get that zip tie out of here and pull off these cards and check out the cards first. I'm noticing the tape has like a weird like yellow hue to it. It's very weird. Go ahead and get this out of here. Uh, yeah, it's looking like it's also got a flare, flare axe and smash hammer, just like the other one we opened up earlier. Uh, it's looking like it's gold though. I don't know if there's like a random element to these, but we shall see. We have the bruiser card, which appears to have like a red, a red border. Hold on, let me get this. Uh, there we go. Focus that a little bit. Yeah, the, the border is not brown. It's actually red. So here is Bruiser, he's got 300 red, uh, 600 green with this Flare Axe and Smash Hammer, and 400. And it's looking like, I don't know why it looks so special. It looks so much more special than usual. Um, the back is also gold. Were the, the other ones were silver, weren't they? Yeah. What does that even mean? Are these like battle gear back in the day where they had like colors that have different elements or different like boosts? Huh. You guys will have to let me know if you know that. Um, I'm still kind of learning this kind of stuff, so interesting. Interesting that it's got a gold back. But uh, yeah, we have our bruiser here, and he's looking pretty strong. So I'm actually uh, pretty excited to see what he really looks like. Let's go ahead and put his card back here. Check out the gate card, because that's kind of what I just have to do now. We have a three-layered field with uh, strength. Oh, it's got all three on it. Cool. These do end up making a field, which I think is really cool. I like the idea of having a dedicated field. Uh, I kind of wish that I could use these without having an arena, though. I think that was a huge thing about Bakugan, was any flat surface you could play Bakugan on, but you can't really play Bakugan on a flat surface when the cards are so thick and the Bakugan don't want to roll up on them. And when they do roll up on them, they don't open, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm sure it's a, like a lot of fun for kids with the arena. And I'm sure that's also probably going clearance eventually, so I'm not I'm not in too much of a rush as long as other people aren't in too much of a rush to watch me actually do that. So now we have our bruiser, and it looks like the bottom half is actually black, which is interesting. That actually kind of breaks the trend of uh, the tops and bottoms kind of matching. That's funny. This one's also loose. My other set of smash hammer or smash yeah smash hammer and flare axe is loose and rattly weird oh this bruiser looks cool guys now you can really see the translucent colors here 
See if I can get a light, light. There you go. Check that out. It's like a cola brown or a root beer brown. And then the gold sticks out so much. This is awesome. I love this. I am actually, this is, this might be my favorite of the three. Just because of the reference. I know people aren't like too fond of Bruiser, but I actually kind of like Bruiser. He reminds me of Maxitar. Uh, I like Maxitar more, but here is our Bruiser on his special attack wheel. And my camera's being kind of like hazy. You gotta darken it just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Get that detail in there. Check that out. He's got like a nose ring. Now, the question is, is it going to have an issue? I certainly hope not. The rattling was kind of the issue that I had with the other one. So hopefully that that is the only issue, is just the rattling. So far, it's looking like everything is okay. It's very loose. Which is odd, I don't know what causes that. Um, interesting that the bottom is black. So only the top half is this nice brown color. Um, it's staying closed though. It's actually really, hey, we didn't, we didn't strike out on the third one, so we're still in the game. Uh, where did I put the ripcord? Here we go. Let's go ahead and see this thing cause some damage, I guess. Now, let me actually zoom in for you guys a little bit. See if you guys can see the carnage. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rip it and throw it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and it got stuck on the box. It got stuck on the box. Open! <sighs> I rest my case. But anyway, guys. This is really cool. I really like this bruiser. Let me go ahead and uh, zoom back out and actually open this up. I'll zoom back out a little bit. You guys can still see it. And here is our bruiser. Bah! Pretty cool. I actually really, really dig the brown. Like, I know that that's not really a lot of people's aesthetic. But I am a huge fan. Sorry, I'm trying to focus this again. There we go. I'm a huge fan of the brown on the gold. The gold on the brown and the orange. I think it really brings out the best of the design. And the detailing on Bruiser is really cool. Like, I know I have a green Ventus one, or just green, but when it's painted, it really sticks out. Like, the designs and all this stuff looks super awesome. So, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to become one with the swarm, please subscribe. And I thank you, if you've watched all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's, uh, what's our, what's our keyword? Sorry, I never, I never think of these in, in advance. I try to make them correlate with the video. Uh, let's go with Cola Bowl. Yeah, let's go with Cola Bowl. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya.